Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Doogie here. I'm with the first segment of Realm News. Very exciting stuff. I'm on my Kunoichi Ninja set, as you can see, with my Crystal Serpent. Just repping my favorite dungeon all around Crystal Caverns. Now let's get right into the news today. Guys, actually this was posted a day ago by Deca. If you would like to see the Reddit post for yourself, the link is in the description below. I suggest you go and check that out, regardless if you watch the video or not. It is the Abyss Runner and Heroic Abyss events. So, this is kind of like the Tomb Runner Guild event that they hosted back in January. This is a, an event where you are going to try and complete the Abyss the fastest. Now they have these things called Runner Keys that you can get for 100 fame in the Nexus. Now, as far as I'm aware, they're exactly the same as Abyss Keys, except you can only pop them in your vault. There's no difference. And I don't know if they're going away after the competition, so if you want cheap Abyss Keys, get them now. It doesn't seem like there's a limit on them or anything, so it's a nice way to run Abysses by yourself if you ever need that. So the fastest time right now is put up by two people. One is named Crazy Killer, and the other is Kelrox. Uh, this is of 5-26-2020. These two people have a 28.64 second time. But according to these runs, it looks like you could get in with about 40 seconds. If you make a 40 second run, it seems like you'd be in the running for top 25. Now, the way this event works, uh, the rules are listed here for you guys. The event will stop on June 1st, and essentially the top 25 people will earn this little Abyss Trophy and a D-Blade, and then as a participation trophy they are giving away a D-Blade to 25 random contestants, who beat an admin's time of 2 minutes. So here is my attempted run that I got really close on, and uh, well, just you'll see for yourself real quick. And we're in. Okay. Left and up. Uh, three, two, one, go. Of course it didn't use it, and of course it got stuck on the wall, man. Ooh. It's okay, we're good, we're good. No, I didn't even come close. <gasps> Quite tragic, I know. Uh, rest in peace, that warrior. <laughs> he was doing so well. If you look at the time, too, the time is really good. Uh, 40 seconds-ish on par, so that would have been pretty good. Moving on to the June login calendar, we have a new item, which is the Mystery ST Crate. It is on day 17, and here is the list of items that will come in that Mystery ST crate. So you can get some of the new items that they put out, which is really interesting, just by logging in each day. I would really recommend doing this, even if you only end up getting like a loot tier potion or a loot drop potion. Uh, it's still worth the opportunity to get it. And there's a lot of other things that you can get in there, like a character slot unlocker, just straight up. Like, that's pretty great. That's pretty much all I have for you guys in terms of the news of Realm of the Mad God for the week of 525, 12 p.m. UTC to 601, 12 p.m. UTC. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. If you did, obviously slap that like button, go into the comment section and comment something you thought was interesting about the video. If you have any suggestions for the video, please leave a comment. I am always open to criticism. In a side note, this is my first Realm News video. I plan on making a cute little intro for this using Adobe After Effects. I've not even received the software yet. I've not gone and gotten it. I've not done a bunch of other things that I wanted to do yet, but I plan on making some very interesting videos. The next video that I plan to have out is the Realm of the Med God Pet Guide, and I will see you guys next time. This is Adoogie signing out. See you guys later. Peace.